The superintendent here in Wells of Gunkwood says for them it's all about space and they have plenty of it. That's because 20% of the student population has decided to stay home and take classes remotely or to be homeschooled. My son has asthma, I have asthma. Because they don't get the same break. Kim Bone is the mother of three kids, fifth, seventh, and ninth grade. She was on the fence about sending them back to school full time, so they're learning from home remotely. Each has set up their own learning space. About 260 students in the district are learning from home. More than 1,000 others, though, are back in school with temperature checks at the door, floor markings, desks outfitted with shields, and even outdoor classrooms set up. The superintendent says they can meet all of the CDC safety guidelines, so school is back in session. If all of our kids came back without, you know, uh, students opting out and, and going homeschooling, it would make it difficult for us to do so, but we we're lucky enough to have this space. We've got a brand new high school uh, that was built for uh, a larger student body than we have right now, so it enables us to do what we are doing today. Another reason they're able to go all in, this is one of now four cafeterias in the school. This used to be the gym, but there's no gym class anymore. After all of the discussions, Mom Kim Bone says her kids finally embrace the remote learning option. At school, they're in a mask all day. They sit at a, the lunchroom is desk six feet apart. I mean, there's no interacting with their friends anyways. And the superintendent says if at any point the parents or students don't feel comfortable coming to school, they can automatically switch to remote learning. In Wales, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.